George Not Found has become one of the staples of the Minecraft community during the last year or so. One of his traits that has caused tension in the past is the fact that he's colorblind. Color okay, okay, I think I'm doing this one, so I need... What is this? What wood is this, guys? Is this jungle? What is this? I'm colorblind! This is not fair! Acacia? So wait, Acacia? I don't know what colors these are! Wait, you got brick? One block of granite. I think maybe this and one's iron. Iron bar. Jeez. <laughs> just need one block and I could finish this. Yellow! No! I'm colorblind! This is not fair! So today we are going to go on a scientific journey to learn what makes somebody colorblind. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft focused content. On to the video. Let's first define colorblindness so that we all start on the same page. Contrary to popular belief, colorblindness doesn't necessarily mean that the person only sees black and white. To be colorblind is just the inability to distinguish between one or more of the three colors that make up light. So, which colors make up visible light? Red, green, and blue. Or in gamer speak, orange. So what makes George unable to see red? This crude image I made is a diagram of an eyeball. There are two types of photoreceptive cells in the back of your eye, or in normal English, cells that allow you to see. The first are called rods, which are represented by the black um, rods. Rods are what allow your eyes to detect how bright the light coming into your eye is, and the shape of size of objects that you look at. The second and more important for this video are cones. Cones are represented by the uh, cones, and are what allow you to see color. Everyone has three different types of cones in their eyes. Red, green, and blue. One for each of the primary colors of light. When all three are working properly, that is normal color vision. The most extreme form of color blindness is when somebody can only see in black and white, or monochromous. Basically, it means that two cones, or all three, don't work in some way, which means that the person can't perceive color at all. Now to the reason that you clicked on this video. The more common types of color blindness are when someone can see some, but not all colors. There are variations of this for each color, but we are going to talk about George's today. I'm colorblind. Severity strong. You're strong, George. You're strong. I'm so strong. You're strong. Yeah, I don't think that's good. I think it's bad in this situation. Well, yeah, because it's severe. Severity <laughs> is strong. <laughs> okay, it's so okay. I am a strong protan. We can see here that George has protonopia, which means that the red cones in his eyes don't work or they're very weak. He can really only perceive green and blue light for the most part. Here are some sample images so you can see what I mean. That's why if you watch George's latest video, it seems strange how George would describe certain colors. This is the yellow one. Which one? This one. No, that's green. Wait, what? Okay, so like right now, they look very similar. And here, I can see like this one's, wait. But yeah, this one is darker. It's still kind of hard to see, but I can, I can see the line now. Like the line right here, right? Move closer, move closer and see. Yeah. Whoa. That's purple, George. That's purple. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> You're seeing purple. <laughs> That's because he doesn't have what we would consider a proper reference for colors that have red in them, since the red cones either don't function or are very weak. So what do the colorblind glasses that George used actually do? Well, contrary to popular belief, they do not cure colorblindness. In my latest video, I realized after reading some helpful comments that the way I edited the video made it seem like the glasses cured George's color blindness. I want to correct that here because that's not how the glasses work. They can't actually add new colors to what George can see. What the glasses do instead is help him perceive different variations of colors he can already see. That way it's easier for him to tell them apart. If you want a more detailed explanation, there is a link to an article where a bunch of scientists test the effectiveness of these glasses. So for George, this would be before the glasses, and this would be my best approximation of after the glasses, and then comparing that to normal. 
So it doesn't really add new color, but it makes them more distinct, more different. So that was a very brief explanation of colorblindness. Before you sound off in the comments, yes, I know that was oversimplified. There are details I left out to make the video less boring, and I didn't want it to end up being a half an hour class on ocular biology. If you're interested in reading more into the science, or you want to take the colorblind test yourself, there's more links in the description. Anyways, this video was a lot of fun to research, so make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Adios.